today I'm out on another wild camp on a Friday night. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So, as a kid, I always used to be in the woods building dens. I've always been into bushcraft and things like that, but never done a whole lot of it apart from when I was a kid. So today, I think I'm going to build my own little shelter for the night. I've also got my bivvy bag, which I'm probably going to just tuck inside the, the shelter. So it's the first time camping in these woods. It's, uh, it's been on the to-do list for a long time. And the good thing is, you don't get a lot of dog walkers and things like that. It's quite a quiet little wood. So all the way down these paths, on the left and right, you've got these natural openings inside the, uh, the rhododendrons, which always look like they'd make a really good little camping spot. But that's not where we're going to go today. We're going to we're going to make our own. Haven't really brought too much food with me tonight. Pre-made a chili con carne last night, so I've brought that with me. Now I've just got like some eggs for the morning for breakfast, and of course coffee. And that's about it, guys. So this is the first wild camp where I've been dropped off and left without any transport to get home if something goes wrong. Uh, not that it should, but who knows what can happen. And it's really quiet at this end of the woods. You don't really got, get a lot of people here. But we've got this nice big open space to, uh, to maybe build something. I'm not really sure exactly where, but what I'm gonna do is drop the bag off, have a little walk around and see where might be the best place for tonight. So it looks like some kids have been building some dirt jumps around here, which I can't blame him to be fair. It's a pretty good, good little spot to build some jumps all the way down here. You don't want to be mucking up the landing on that one. There's the hole they've dug. And there's the shovels that they've used. I thought no one would ever stumble across. Fair play boys. Good job on the jumps. kind of made this TP shape and then the plan is basically just to cover each side with branches and leave this middle bit as the uh, as the doorway So I pretty much covered most of it in moss. There are still a couple of open spots at the back, but we are running out of light really fast. So I'm just gonna pretty much cover this in bracken now and blend in a lot better.
Right guys, we are seriously running out of light. It's nearly dark and I still haven't sent my bedding up yet. Haven't had a beer yet and I haven't had any food yet. So all I'm gonna do is use that shovel that I found earlier to clear all this stuff out. And then I'm gonna have a beer, have some food and set my bedding up last because, well, I'm getting hungry. Right, there we go. I'm just going to give you a little tour inside. You know what? All that hard work was definitely worth. Whilst I was making this shelter, I thought, I don't know if this is worth it. I should have just stuck with the tent. But now, now we're inside, it's actually pretty cool. And I'm kind of glad that I stuck it out. Well, the good thing about this flame is it's keeping the mozzies away a little bit. It's time to cook some food. Chili con carne. I like my chilies quite spicy, so I've got quite a lot of cayenne pepper in there. I've also got jalapenos, uh, kidney beans some sliced pickled gherkins and all the good stuff. I'm just gonna add one of these packet rices. All right, just gonna give it a little bit of heat. Right, the flames just run out. It lasted quite a while though. This is really good for wild camping or stealth camping where if you don't want to have a big fire but you just want flame to keep bugs and things away or to cook on, it doesn't make any noise. It's small, it's compact and it does the job. Chili con carne has got to be one of my favourite meals. Absolutely love it. Mexican food in general is just great. Just lit the third and final flame for the night which I'm just going to keep going while I um, do a little bit of reading and drift off to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning oh, that's a pretty good night's sleep to be fair oh.
Tell you what, that shovel came in handy last night. It's really good for digging up the moss. So I know it's not the best shelter, guys. It's not something I would trust in a storm by any means, but it done the job for last night. It's given me a little bit of practice. Like I said, I haven't really done this sort of thing since I was a kid, so. Right, put the kids shovel back all right as per usual i've woken up with a stiff back so i'm gonna go for a little walk get some steps in hopefully i'll loosen it up a bit this is literally my favorite thing to do in the morning is just to come for a walk in the woods or somewhere where there's a lot of trees. Right, I'm all packed away, ready to make a move. I'll just show you. I've taken all my rubbish with me. And some kids can make use of that as a little den or something. Well, another successful wild camp over. Looking forward to getting out again soon. And I'll see you again on the next one.